Hello everyone, I'm ExtraCheesy87 and this is Let's Play Persona 3 Portable Part 32. In the previous video, we... What, what do we do? I don't know, man. We did all kinds of fun stuff. Junpei's still trying to interrogate Chidori and we're just vibing. I went and made a star persona and by made a star persona, I gave Igor all... Not Igor. Theo all my money. We're actually poor somehow. I thought we'd be rich for the rest of the game. Now we do have like a ton of stuff to sell that like I guess I'll maybe do tonight. But we're gonna talk to Akihiko because we haven't talked to him since like the start of the game almost. Alright, let's go. Naganaki Shrine. You joined Akihiko on his training and ran here with him. Alright, this was a mistake. He's gasping. Let's take a short break. The area near the shrine is quiet. No one else is around. The wind's starting to pick up. Great conversation, Akihiko. It's actually a blessing after working up a good sweat. Feels nice. I can usually train in the club room or alone in my own room at the dorm. Um, why are you outside today? Why? Well, we can't both be in my room, you know? Actually, yeah, good point. <laughs> you guys seem somewhat embarrassed. In any case, I should have changed it to my workout gear. But, you know, they didn't, they wouldn't draw anything for that, so. I thought this would just be a light run for fun. I'm drenched in sweat. Uh, <laughs> What? I don't smell? Akihiko seems embarrassed. Hey, you wanna try that before we head back? Try what? Akihiko points to the horizontal bar, okay. You can't do a back hip circle, can you? I don't even know what that is. Um... I don't know what that is. Yeah, sure, we can. That's amazing, you'll have to show me sometime. When you're not wearing a skirt, that is. I don't know what that is. Okay, I know what a skirt is, but I don't know what a back hip circle is. I mean, I guess it's like... I have like a visualization in my head of what I think it is? I assume it's like you, you do something with your legs while you're hanging. Can you at least sit up there? Here. I can you pull you up to get, on the, uh, get a seat on the bar. We could have done it ourselves. We're athletic. You know how high we can jump? It's a little scary because you're finding it hard to balance on it. This takes me back. Reminds me when I was a kid. Akihiko falls silent and looks off into the distance. I need to get stronger. If I don't get stronger, I won't be able to save anything. Akihiko mutters as if to himself. I feel like you understand Akihiko a little better now. Mince horny energy. <laughs> We should get going. Are you sweating today too? Make sure you take a bath today so you don't catch a cold. We take a bath every day? You weirdo? You and Akihiko return to the dorm together. Hey. Hello. You, do you wanna, okay, we could talk to Shinjiro. We have no other options. Should leave him alone. I think Tartarus, oh yeah, we do have Tartarus. It was tardy, but we'll wait wait until at least we'll probably wait until closer to the to the day. Like I think we're gonna delay that for a bit. Why won't we go to the hospital again? Shidori hates us. Arf. Turn on the television. Nothing on okay. Koromaru-san wants to communicate something to you. He is tired of eating the same food day after day. I recommend you change Koromaru-san's menu. <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay. Koromaru-san seems happy to hear that. Thank you. Arf arf. I can't say the other one. Are you crazy? I mean, I like to pick all the dialogue options just to see them, but like, come on, I can't be mean to Koromaru. He'll eat us. Someone tells him they want to... Yeah, 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 yeah. No, not really. Weirdo. Ken is brooding here. Oh no, is, is dude here? No. Guess we're gonna talk to uh, Shinji. Yeah, I don't know what that guy's for. Or if he's just like, a, he's like a new NPC. 
they really introduce a new NPC like five to six months into the game. Since you have since you have a big multi-headed snake, you could probably be friends. Otherwise, he'd hate your guts. <laughs> <laughs> the thoughtful music gets me every time. You came here at Shinjiro's request. This crossed my mind last time we ate here. Those guys eat on their own, right? Well, are they doing okay? Who Who is those guys? And what do you mean okay? What do you mean okay? Your body's the most important tool. Shit, all those guys ever eat is like instant noodles and stuff like that. Shinjiro is sign. Well, Persona is supposedly the strength of the heart. I guess it would be better if they eat what makes them happy, but... Um... Don't be stupid. Indra seems a little embarrassed. If you get the chance, let them know. Tell them they need to eat better. I won't listen to what comes from me, especially Aki. You can sense Shindro's serious feelings towards fighting and the other members of the group. I feel like you better understand Shindro now. I mean, Fuka cooks. I don't know if it's necessarily better for you than instant noodles, but. You can eat those vegetables, right? What the hell are you? Under Shindra's heart stare, you make sure to clean your plate. That's great. I don't want to eat the Brussels sprouts. They're so squishy and nasty, I don't like them. Okay. An acquaintance of ours, what? The call ended. Oh god, this fucking guy. Next chapter discusses the problems of the Kamakura Shogunate. Kamakura is cool and all, but it can't beat the Sengoku era. Have we covered enough of this yet? I can skip over the Sengoku era, yeah? Alright, let's take a close look at the Sengoku era from the beginning. As you all know, I generally agree that a major factor leading up to the Sengoku era was the Onan War of 1467. After that, the next big event was in the, in the Sengoku era's formation was the coup of uh, Meiwo, Mei, Meiwo in 1493. Let's take a closer look at the Onan War in 1476 or 67, whatever. No, I'm stay awake. Well, is it time already? We're only up to 1467, but there's still a lot to cover. Guess can't be helped. Next up, we'll jump all the way to 1468. <laughs> My academics. Meanwhile in Chidori's room. No one else is coming today. But they said we can't give you back your evoker. I wasn't expecting them to. That's why they started watching me in the first place. Oh, how's that cut doing? Probably already healed, huh? So, uh, how come you're not drawing today? Does it matter? Well, uh, not really. Uh, your flowers are all dried up. Must be the heat. Oh, I know. Why don't I go buy you some new flowers? What's your favorite kind? Chidori, what's the matter? <sighs> Chidori took the withered flowers and began to concentrate. <laughs> the flowers? So she can just straight up do magic? The withered flowers in Chidori's hands began to flourish? These are cut flowers, right? Wow, how'd you do that? Can we do that? I made them healthy again. I didn't know your healing powers could do stuff like that. It's like a miracle or something. It's nothing special. You have powers too, don't you? Yeah, but we can't do anything with them. Well, yeah, I guess, but that's about all I've got going for me. Without that, I'd be a nobody. i just talk a big game, pretending like I'm some kind of hero, but in reality, I don't know what the hell I'm fighting for, or why I'm here at all. Nobody does, that's the secret. Why? Why we are here? When I was a kid, I had this crazy dream. What kind of dream? That one day I'd grow up to be a pro baseball player. <laughs> Pretty stupid, huh? And then the abominable snowman started chasing me, and I was running and I was running, but I couldn't get away. I guess that's part of being a kid. Is that so? I don't remember much from my childhood. All I remember is being surrounded by white. Huh? 
I hate hospitals. Yeah, me too. <sighs> I'm sorry. But I don't mind that much this time, since you come to see me so often. Chidori, I... I understand. I won't let you down. Class is ended for today. Well... Hello. Heard from the grapevine, you went to the summer home. There's a lot of things I'd like to ask you at first. You took pictures of him, right? No. What on vacation with Akihiko Senpai and you're keeping it for yourself? Unbelievable. This is unbelievable. You pissed me off. Okay. You make some prints? You don't have any pictures? Don't lie. Must suck to be bro dog, the king of not getting new dialogue is logged online. Okay, this Fuka. You also need to get new dialogue. I see that app is them stuff on the news a lot these days. Seems like there's more of them. I'm scared. You guys should watch out. Mitsu, we're gonna quiz game tonight, and then your social link will be ours. Now oh, it brings you to the nurse's office, hee hee hee. Uh, you wanna hear another of my supplementary lessons? You are a quintessential student. Or could it be, ah, pay no mind to the mutterings of a kindly nurse? Yeah, when do I unlock my magic powers in the real world? Tell me she can heal shit, and all we can do is, wait, listen to people real good? Oh, it, it, are we done, actually? We're, we're actually completely done? Well, I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I'm actually a little disappointed. What are we doing? I guess we just do Fuka, right? It's Fuka or Shrine Kid? I'd rather talk to Fuka. Did we level up with Fuka last time? Or was it still a fill? No, we leveled up with Fuka last time, right? Yeah, because that was the rice event. So, actually... Yeah, we'll talk to Fuka. We'll do Shrine Kid maybe next Saturday. Maybe we'll kind of flip-flop between them. Recipe in the book. Hung out with Fuka. Yep, what should you make today? I'm making a damn chocolate truffle. It's getting late. Cool. Where have you been? You know, made some chocolate truffles. No, you can't have any. You ever thought of what you're living for? Uh, no. I didn't either, but I've been thinking about it a lot lately. Especially when I look at her. She makes me think about what I'm living for. Oh, I never knew you were so deep. Well, that sounds sarcastic. Ginger san used his own money to purchase expensive dog food. koromara san seems to really like it. Oh my god, he's based? Never around Junpei? I sense a feeling of happiness. I wonder what happened to him. Glad Junpei-kun is back to normal, but do you think his relationship with chidori san work out? She's never a stray guy, and they're our enemies. I don't know. Such an ironic twist of fate. Yeah, sure, why not? They just have to, like, not in the world. Seems pretty easy. We probably won't be going to the hospital again. Turn on the television. Today's exchange rate. The yen is up, uh, to the dollar. That, that, mm-hmm. Bugichi, what? Proprietor of the used bookstore has been reported missing. Who's looking at the Leon? Well, shit, now I gotta go. Alright. You wanna decide that we're gonna go late? Scratch that. Immediate. Tomorrow. <laughs> I know that's not necessarily what immediate means, but, uh... I mean, come on. Bunkichi's important, but we are ranked 10, alright? He, he'd understand that how important a quiz game is. Man, and also, like, I don't know if I want a quiz game or do a social link. I mean, I would like to max out our stats, but I mean, I guess it's not that urgent. We haven't even finished all our, like, other party members. We ranked up with Koromar last time.
Well then let's... You smell something? Catch a whiff of something noxious, oh god. Shindra, why did you tell him to cook food? Nobody can cook but us! Sounds like something is burning or irritating your nostrils. Are they coming from over by the counter? Are you causing the smell, Fuka? Uh, does it smell? What are you doing? I was trying to make beef stroganoff. What about the roux? I didn't use any. I made it from scratch with flour. Uh, don't start acting all proud after you've burned it. You're right. This is burnt. Oh god, you've been Fuka faced. What should I do? Any of those ingredients left? I brought extra everything. I'll make it. Watch and learn. You okay if we have this for dinner? Uh, if it tastes good, just watch. Sorry, Extra Chan. Weren't you gonna go out with Shindro Senpai? I don't know, man. Let's get this started. Uh, y yes, please. You signed to watch Shindro and Fuka cook dinner. How much oil did you use? I didn't use any. I thought it'd be healthier that way. Come on, lady. How much red wine did you put in? I can't purchase that legally. <laughs> I don't know, poured it from the bottom to look like enough. How long did you pour then? Two or three seconds? The meat's pretty fatty. I asked the butcher for the best he had. <laughs> See, it's funny because I don't know how to make beef stroganoff, so I don't know what she's doing wrong. <laughs> There's so much wrong here. I don't know where to begin. Huh? Don't start messing around with recipes until you improve your basic cooking skills. Seriously, don't you feel bad at all for charring all this food? Sorry. Listen up, prepare everything beforehand. Chop everything that needs to be chopped, measure out all your seasonings too. That way you won't panic while everything's cooking. Uh, memo, memo. Shinjiro begins quickly cutting the ingredients while Fuka writes everything down. Gotta cook the onions, onions at low heat. They'll taste better if they're cooked until they just start to get burned. Okay, onions need to be... Put the notepad down and watch me. Here's the meat, when you put it in, Shinjiro's hands move swiftly and surely, even while showing Fuka the basic steps. The dish is ready. It looks like a picture taken directly from a cookbook. Wow, it looks so delicious. Just shut up and eat it before it gets cold. Um, yeah, chow time. Yeah. Shinjiro seems a little embarrassed. You took a bite. It's delicious. The taste brings back memories. Memories of what? Um... <laughs> I'm not going to say the last one, even though we're thinking it. We'll, we'll just be basic. Uh, you're amazing, Shindro-senpai. He is. He's a damn god. He's the lord of combat and the lord of cooking. I mean, anyone can do something like... No, they can't. Teach me again, promise. You ate it all. Luca insisted that, insisted that she clean up, so you let her handle it. Please teach me again, huh? At least you made me promise that let me say anything. I guess I'll make something again later. Um, yeah, make enough for everyone. You mean treat them on a dinner? It's kind of pushing it. Hey, you're the one that said everyone needs to eat better. All right, well, you got a point. It'll be okay to do once in a while. Shinjiro didn't put up much of an argument to the idea. I feel like you're seeing another side of Shinjiro's personality, literally, because he keeps showing us his, the wrong side of his face. Talk about that some other time. We're gonna go check up on Fuka. Uh, too late. You and Shinjiro helped Fuka clean up, then return to your room. Oh yeah, he hasn't congratulated us yet. Your room. You sense that familiar presence. Hi. Yes, it's Igus standing it's over you. Three seasons have passed since we met. Has it, has it been that long? Time goes by so quickly, and many things change. Yet some things will always remain the same. Don't you agree? Hmm. Everything can change. Hmm. If you say so, perhaps you're right. Talking with you has stirred up certain memories. That tower, for instance. I've been thinking about it lately. I wonder, will our relationship stay the same? Or will it evolve? No matter what the future holds, you and I will be friends. That is for certain. 
Paris is smiling sadly for some reason. I feel a stronger bond with him. So, all right, rank six. Rank six. Mysterious boy social link. I'll come again. Until then, good night, my dearest. Don't say that, please. Uh, you think you'd ever be able to go to sleep after a ghost child popped up and woke you up in the middle of the non-existent hour? I feel like my sleep would be fucked. That's one of those you just accept that you're you're not you're that's an all-nighter. Absolutely not. The answer is no. Nope. I mean, we could have maybe actually done Yukari. Wait, did we do a filler event with Yukari? The answer is also nope. <laughs> I gotta do Sun Man. Unfortunately, everyone has put on notice. It's me. I scammed a small child. Okay, not really a small child, but yeah, sure, why not? Is that all my money, by the way? Let's uh, let's go make a trip to the mall real quick. And we have a ton of stuff stuff to sell. Oh wait. Our, okay, never mind. We haven't missed our, our quest, right? Yeah, yeah. Nine seventeen. Remember nine seventeen. Whether or not I fit into your battle plan is up to you. If I do great. If I don't, whatever. I gotta change my style for you or anyone else. <laughs> I love the disconnect between like Shindra Social League and then like his regular character where he's just like rrr, rrr, rrr. You ever thought of what you're living for? Nope. Poor Amaro always seems so happy. I'm a little jealous of him. He can be satisfied just eating a meal. I wish my life was that simple. Shut up. Don't talk shit about Koromaru. My man's complex. Arf arf. Turn on the television. The next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Episode 30, Three Demons Awaken. Stop kidnapping my lover. And now the news. Shinji's a really good cook. I can't say from experience, though. Never had anything he's made. Well, <laughs> you know, you should have been here last night. How are you getting along with Shinji? He's a little rough around the edges, but deep down, he's really a nice guy. Just give him a chance. I mean, we're, we're doing it, damn, girly. We're doing the social link. Yeah, we're gonna talk to Shrine Guy. Anything? Well, let's go to the mall first. Self-employed bookstore. All right, we. I mean, I know it's probably more efficient to wait, but like, I can't. I can't in good conscience just let Bunkichi rot in Tartarus. There are so many strange people out there. For example, take that young man I saw the other day. It was a crowd that seemed to be flowing around this blank space. I wonder why. I took a gander and there's still but nobody was walking there. It was kept no shirt on, long gray hair, he had this weird ore to him. I ask you, what is the world coming to? All these people walking around, not cutting their hair. It makes me so mad. Is it because you're bald? No, I'm not bald. I still have plenty of hair on the back of my head. I finally got the prize. Or is that so? Dude, that was uncalled for. If you keep acting like that, you'll end up with no friends. What are my words, man? They just looked into it, but I'm still psyched. Keep training until I can get the prize without luck. Yeah, shut up, dude. All right. Look, Just even looking at you brings bad vibes. What I want to do? Oh yeah, I want to sell stuff. Okay. Well, first things first. Don't we have like... Yeah, we have all this shit to sell. Oh my god. Oh wait. Supreme coin. Do we need these for trade-ins? I can't remember. Or are these just for selling? Because like these are just like the boss items.
Um, 68 evasion? What the hell? I, you know, that is maybe a creep, but <laughs> on the other hand, just stole Ken's sweater. <laughs> hey, uh, can I have my sweater back? Nope. Is that a quest item? I don't know if that's one of the things that dude wanted for his quest. Only Maru. It was like Juza Maru, and I can't remember what the other quest item was. Undertake a quest. No, it's a Mikazuki. You give me a regular ass bead, that's it? Not even a not even a chain of beads. Ridiculous. Churlish behavior, Theodore. After all the money I've given you. How you guys doing? There's a dang old Majon Club calls himself the Peacock. I get the sense that someone's following me. There's someone over there. Hey, that guy looks familiar. Damn, who's my chance to talk to her? All I seem to do is, these days is follow her around. What should I do? I don't know. Be fucking normal. It's you. Why don't you have a seat? This bench is too big for me alone. I don't know. Lay down on it. Then this bench shall be our meeting place. One second, before we talk, let me just turn on my boombox. I need to have sad music when I speak, or else I'm doing better today. I know it probably looks pretty bad last time, right? I've been reading a book before we met that day. I got so absorbed in the reading that I forgot to close the window and didn't realize how chilly it was. Do you read many books? Uh, depends on the books. I can definitely relate to that. A bad book is really a big waste of time because you have to get so far in it before you write it off. I read a lot of books these days. I find they're the easiest ways to spend my time, since I can get lost in a book's private world. You read books all the way to the end? Uh, yeah. I see. I don't like to see them end. My canary was quiet. I really get into the story and usually reach the end quickly, but I never want to finish. Because if I finish the story, I'll be stuck here again, alone in my room as Akinari, the person who can't escape his fate. Stories about hope or heroism, those are the kind of books I read. Hopefully if I do decide to finish reading them, I'll feel happy at the end when I come back here. Akinari smiled weakly. Well, that's our, that's our weekly Sunday depression out of the way. I mean, that one wasn't as depressing. There's like a hint of optimism there, I guess. Time is ruthless. It looks like the sun is already setting. Hope we have another chance to talk. Well, as long as the game doesn't end in the next six weeks, been? which I'm pretty sure it doesn't, um, we should be good, hopefully. And the game doesn't eat any of my Sundays, which is, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Arf. Sniffing at a scent? Well, uh, Fuka. Fuka, I need to save Bunkichi. Unless you don't want me to. If you just want an old man to die, then, you know, that you do you. There's Junpei-san here. The atmosphere is much more childish. Ouch, that hurt, Aichan. I have no comeback for that. Shinjiro-san is our ally. We are a more formidable force. This is the ideal time for us to ascend Tartarus. Best defense is a good offense. That's how you win. He's physically strong, but he also knows how to keep his cool. Granted, I'm like... I want to go to Tartarus. I want to do it like at the end of the video. Instead of being amazed, maybe we should try and be more like her. I... Cause I kind of don't want to go to Tartarus yet. 
Because I know they're going to give me another person. And Funkichi's strong. He's agile. He's useful. He's only 80 years old. That's basically like a spring chicken, right? But what do we do then? We have no, no, no Lincoln. Um, I mean, I guess we'll go. Shit. It's either that or get one point of knowledge, which doesn't seem that good. We'll go next Sunday. That'll be like at the end of this video, and then I can do like some of the the dungeon in between videos. Over your conversation. What's your class gonna do for the culture festival? A haunted house. Bet I'll be stuck playing the ghost. You got a ghost isn't so bad. You can just show up and put on the costume. I have to do a magic show. By the way, did you hear a typhoon is on the toy? Here it's a big one. The school will be empty. Today we'll be talking about nuclear fission. Imagine a nuclear reaction in which a massive nucleus splits into smaller nuclei, releasing energy as it does. I believe you all know that much. The reaction emits massive quantities of energy, which is why it's used in nuclear power plants. You all know that Japan has three nuclear prohibitions in place, right? Let's see. Which one of these is not one of Japan's prohibitions on nuclear weapons? Is not. I mean... I would assume can't... Well, can't let others produce? That one, yeah, that doesn't seem like a prohibition you guys have. I was thinking, I, I need to reread the question again, make sure I'm not, because if, which one of these is not one of Japan's prohibitions on nuclear weapons? I mean, it seems like this one. Correct. We forbid possession, production, or admission of nuclear weapons within Japan. Third prohibition is a little controversial, but this is a physics class, not political science. Now, for nuclear fission... It's a coincidence meeting you here. Are you free after school today? Uh, maybe. Because if you, if you pop up, that means you're leveling up, right? Isn't that how it works? Funny running to you here. Wait, this is right in front of your classroom, isn't it? Uh, I'll see you later. Uh, are you busy later? I don't have any plans, no, but don't you have anything to do? You want to hang out that amuse about the club rooms after school. I mean, we should, if we're going to do one of them, we should do Agahika, because Fuka's our only Saturday social link. Junpei, seriously, dog. I just need to do one of it. Screw that, I've got enough to worry about, so I'm going to slack off. Everyone seems excited about the upcoming festival. I have not experienced such an event before. I just got T. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Akihiko, or is anyone else available? Culture Festival, dude, Culture Festival. Everyone just loves Culture Festival, not me, dude. I think it's a waste of time, dude. In fact, I hope there's a typhoon so I'll have to cancel it. Maybe that's a bit much, huh? Oh, is it bad that I want to w wish, like, immense destruction on people's, like, lives and property? Oh, okay, I'm a bad guy for that? Whatever. Akiko, where the hell are you again? Here you are. Friend asked you for the URL to binge website, but I didn't tell him because I didn't fucking know it. I wanted him to know that I didn't know it. Yeah, since you have like a little little Neko Shogun. Iwatoda Strip Mall. Akiko brought you here claiming that he knew a really good place to eat. No matter how you look at it, it's just the beef shop. What's with that face? Oh, so the beef bowl is really great here. The servants are big and the sauce they use in the meat is just... Akiko Senpai! Ah! And then Akiko immediately judo chopped them. Out of instinct. Two girls instantly rush up to Akiko and begin violating his personal space. They're not in uniform, but you recognize them as students from your class. Akiko Senpai, what are you doing here? Eating? 
Man, no, you, you're here for the beef balls, right? It's like, you're so funny that you're always eating here. Uh, what's funny about that? I fail to see the comedic value. It seems like you're totally cool. Look, can you get out of the way? Please, we can't get in. Hey, you don't have a girlfriend, right? A girlfriend? A friend who was a girl. Hmm. We're like totally looking for guys to be with right now. Two girls sneak glances at you while they fawn over Akihiko. For some reason you sense hostility from them? Just let us through, please. If you want to talk with me, let's find some other time to do it. Let's go. The combined power of the two girls glaring at you feels like your skin is seen burned away. <laughs> um... Yeah, fuck them. Yeah, I'm starving. Akiko seems relieved to escape from the two girls. If anything, the level of hatred pouring forth from the girls' eyes intensifies. You push your way past them and enter the beef bowl shop with Akihiko. Why have you know we have max level courage? We are what some might call a badass. When you come out of the meal, after your meal, the two girls from earlier are gone. See, we're not delicious. What's the matter? Um, yeah, it was great. I know, right? Oh, I get it. You think those girls wanted to have beef balls too? Yeah, they wanted they wanted some beef, all right. <laughs> uh, not in the way you think, huh? I wonder what they wanted. He seems to be completely incapable of recognizing female emotions. I'm starting to feel sorry for those girls from before, but like, why? Um, visible confusion. My favorite type of beef ball. Hmm. <laughs> he goes deep in thought. Oh, you're talking about girls. I like ones that are alive. What type of girls do I like? Aki gives you a wry smile. I don't want to deal with this kind of thing. I'm not strong enough to carry the entire burden. What? <laughs> Akiko mutters as if to himself. I feel like you understand Akiko a little better now. Do we? I feel like I understand him even less. Oh yeah, the type I like is... Never mind. I've been told that whenever a girl asks that, the right answer is always girls like you. But I can't bring myself to say it. Ah! Damn that Junpei! Akihiko went to his dorm to go pound sand. Hello! Hello, it is me, Ken. You probably forgot about me because I've been brooding the last few days, but I'm back! Me, Ken. Poor Amara always seems so happy. Uh, Shinjiro? You've defeated nine shat- What do you mean, we? It means only three remain. That's fantastic! We're so close to the end. Please keep up the good work. We. We haven't done shit. Arf. All right. Turn on the television. Congratulations! We're in the locker room to interview the winners. You guys did great out there. The, the beer is so cold. What? Monday. Well, let's go check for the other social link. If you want to go ahead and lock it. I think he was here on Tuesday last time, so maybe we'll check back tomorrow. Yo, what up? I don't mind. The wistful music. Don't mind want to go today. You want to come along? Uh, sure. Colonia Mall. Come on, let's go. Colonia Mall Chagall Cafe. Is this really where Shindra wanted to go? Well, what do you want? Uh, we're, we're a tea kind of person. He's always been a girly drink. What the hell is that you supposed to fucking mean? Andrew ordered for you? He's a girly drink. Uh, is it, what, d d it's, it's like leaves and water, you weirdo. That's actually pretty manly if you think about it. I don't even drink tea. I'm actually more of a coffee person. I don't even really like coffee that much, I'm just like, you know, psychologically addicted to it, I suppose. Um, alright. 
Yeah, I'm fine. I'm not contagious or anything, so don't worry. Indra smiles wryly. It happens once in a while. But I try not to come to these kind of places that often. Um... <laughs> it's the cafe making you cough. No, I feel bad for the workers here. Somebody... Someone like me sitting here coughing all the time. I came to buy some today. Ground coffee. I need to make sure I don't forget to buy some on the way out. Um... You drink coffee at the dorm? I have any left over. I'm gonna use it for cooking. Shindra seems a little embarrassed. Hey, you're the one that brought it up. You said that stuff about treating the guys from the dorm. What What are you gonna use the coffee for? Yeah, we'll look forward to it. Shindra seems a little awkward. We'll do it once I decide when we're gonna start. But like, Susan, what do you need the coffee grounds for? Even if it tastes awful. Better be responsible until everyone is great. Unless you're just like, are you making coffee to go with the food? I don't... I can't think of anything that needs coffee grounds. I mean, I assume there's probably some food. I don't think I've ever had anything that was like, hey, we put coffee grounds in this. It doesn't really sound good to me personally, but... You discuss the plans to treat your friends at the dorm to dinner. Until your bomb with Shinjiro has grown stronger. Man hacked up a lung in our tea, our girly tea. Should we get going? Don't worry if you're out late. We return to the dorm of Shinjur. Actually, we're always out late, you know, doing crazy shit like playing quiz game. There's a box in the room. A ham spear. <laughs> Think they can mail that? Hey, extra. We left, huh? The next one won't come for another three weeks. Man, why can't they all just come at once? Yeah, Aikiko, don't you just love when guys are coming constantly? Wouldn't that be t Yeah, I agree. Then again, what will we look forward to afterwards? Well, with more people now, it should be a lot easier to defeat them. Can't wait for the next full moon. Hey, Yukari, we have ignored you for a while. Oh, wait, you have new dialogue? Culture Festival kind of sucks, don't you think? I mean, there's always one person who's so gung-ho and makes everyone else get involved. By the way, that person is not me. Tuesday. Yeah, we'll probably talk to you, Kari. Do I have a lovers? We still have our pixie, right? Anyone else who might have new dialogue? Male students never seem to be able to do much in home economics. They're going to have trouble if they ever decide to live on their own, though. As for me, if my button fell off or something, I'd be able to sew it back together in a second. In a second? That seems a little exaggeratory. Yeah, it's me. I'm still looking for the smoker. Hey, I know we haven't talked in like four months, but uh... I'm going to the strip mall in a second. Let's check there for dialogue. Cat is staring. I asked my dad if I can take this cat home. He said he wouldn't mind, but it's all to my mom. I know what she's going to say. What should I do? When you order a medium, I dropped an egg, and if the egg does egg, you can egg all over him. Daughter's a high school student. I thought my teacher might be better this term, but I guess not. He mumbles a lot and doesn't have any energy, so class is really boring. What's wrong with mumbling? Do you got a problem with mumbling? Well, I mean, actually, let's, uh, let's check the mall during the day. People at the pretense are going to work. I killed my wife and little girl now I've been laid off. I finally got the prize. Uh, me. Hi, Yukari. What up? Are you by yourself? We should walk home together. You decided to come here with you, Kari. You walk won't do. It's fattening. The sweet shops also is fattening. Ramen, beef bowl. This place is so full of fattening stuff. You, Kari. Here's a little secret. All food is fattening. 
I'm starting to get to the point that I'm starting to feel a bit... I'm gonna buy that DVD that helps you lose weight while dancing. You ever heard about it? I've heard it's on top of the sales charts right now. Oh, but uh, do you think people downstairs will hear? I think you have to jump around and stuff. Car is looking your way as she talks to you. A car comes speeding down the road as you car steps from the street. Uh... I mean, I'm not jumping in front of the car for you, Kari. <laughs> I'm not getting... If we jump in front of the car, all that's going to happen is we both get hit. You know? The car sped off. Th thanks. That was scary. Um... Yeah, we, we were scared too. Yeah. Kari still seems stunned. Actually, you're hurt. You skin your palms slightly when you when you fell down. Why? Why'd you help me? This fucking girl. This fucking girl. Because like we didn't want to get blood all over us. What are you gonna do if you died? We just pulled you back. We didn't like we, we didn't put ourselves in danger. I specifically put, chose the option that put me in the least amount of danger. Um. That's not what I meant. I mean, you're, you're our leader. What would I do if you died? I'm tired of all this. I'm sick of all the people around me dying. Kari looks like she's about to cry. I mean, nobody died, though. Sense of affection from you, Kari? I don't know. Maybe I'm a freak, but I think I do kind of like that, like, you save her life and she gets pissed. <laughs> Sorry, you saved me too. Keep bombarding you with all this personal stuff all the time. Alright, I'm a little confused. I'm a kid. I mean, I guess I do. I do kind of prefer it than if it was like, oh, you saved her. Now she's gonna fall all over you. Um. So of the two, her getting irrationally angry is the preferable one. I'm gonna head back. Sorry. Yukari ran off. Hey, don't get hit by any cars on your way. Decided to go back to the dorm. Hi, how was your day? And the Chidori sauna starting to open up a little. Ah, she's still uncomfortable talking about personas. Might take a while before she's ready. Oh well. We still have three shadows to worry about, so I'll concentrate on that. We'll be sorry they ever set foot in this world. When I start punching and punching. A big ass shadow appears in the full moon. You already be nine of them, huh? Not bad. You're always gonna need some time to cool down, so I'm gonna give her some space. It'll be hard, what can I do? Can I finish your damn socially, Junpei? I promise I'll never talk to you again afterwards. Typhoon threatens to cancel the festival, which is a shame. As student council president, I've invested a lot of time organizing it. I hope we can still have the festival, but I guess this is all we can do is trust in Providence. Oh, Shinji's a really good cook. Really good, really good cook. Never around Junpei. Jinjuro san used to frequent the outskirts of Port Island Station. The only reason he is still alive is because he has knowledge and self-preservation. Also, he has a very large axe. The quality that quality makes him quite valuable in battle. He used to think he was a bit of a womanizer, but now he seems like such a gentleman. Well, you know, to be fair. Junpei did only start talking to her because he thought she, she was hot. And only continued to talk to her because he thought she was hot. Because, let's be honest, Shidori did not put a lot of work into the mutual relationship. Basically, she just kind of sat there while Junpei was awkward. Shindra can go with you tonight. Okay, so it actually tells you who you're going to hang out with during the filler events. Okay. I did not know that. Uh... I don't know if we need points with Shinjiro. But Koromar is my dog, dog. Wolf, wolf, wolf. Quit prancing around like that. You know, like it's your first time I've ever taken you out on a walk. I don't like the look of that weather. Seems like a storm's coming. Well, whatever happens, happens. Go quietly with Shinjiro. 
Woof. Seems Cormar's done playing. It was fast. Had enough for tonight? You used to live here, huh? Come on, let's go home. Decided to go back to the dorm with Koromaru. Koromaru. Now, I don't know how the Koromaru stuff works. Like, if, if it would have always been Shinjiro there, or if we'd, like, ignored him, and then during the next time, it would have been someone different. It would have maybe been better if it had been someone different, because I don't know if, uh... We needed the points of Shinjiro? Hey, you here? Probably gonna dress up as a maid for a cafe in the culture festival. Wait, are you serious? Why? What happened? She drew the short straw in the archery club. She's gonna be pissed. That's all the more reason to check out the cafe. You're wrecked. That's why you don't, don't join clubs? At the archery club will be running a maid cafe at the festival. I wonder if Yukatan will be in costume. I doubt she'd agree to that. Well... I have heard that Yukari-san is going to be working at a maid cafe during the festival. I do not understand why, but the male students seem excited to see her wear her new outfit. Yeah, you better not be trying to run a damn maid cafe, alright? As I have you know, we're ranked 10, we can leave tennis club at a moment's notice. Don't you think Aiga seems different somehow? Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying she's a weirdo, she just seems like a doll. When I see her, I'm reminded of a clothing store mannequin. You're not that far off. Could you really be a doll wearing clothes? You know what to agree with me, it's probably my imagination after all. Your imagination, I thought as much. Dude, the dang culture festival, I hope everyone who likes culture dies. Am I a bad guy? And asked me for a dang old URL, and I said, I don't know about that, man. Anything new? I don't care about the culture festival. If I can't see Mitsuri serious by there, I was hoping she dresses as a man and then dance with me, but I guess not. For me, the culture festival is over before it began. Why does she have to dress like a man, you weirdo? Oh man, that's the worst kind of typhoon. The one with the wind and the, and the water. If it comes, do you think they'll get uh, days off from school? Hey, now I can't wait for it to get here. Right, there's a typhoon coming. It's a big, slow one. That means it's gonna be a lot of damage, huh? It's gonna suck. Can we check here? Let's check the front entrance. Got anything new? I'm waiting for my boyfriend. We're going to the coffee shop. You know there's an observatory somewhere on campus? Well, I haven't found it. What do we do on Wednesdays? Are you here? Yeah, there's a little girl. I don't have an emperor. Alright, I guess we'll do you instead of, uh, school? You know what? Actually, I lied. Let's do an Emperor event. Since I, I mean, normally it would be kind of low priority, like slash maybe one I wouldn't really care about finishing, but since we're already at rank 5, I kind of want to finish it. And we have some money again. Give me... Give me Fornius. And also, I think, like, it's maybe better to do the school events now, since sometimes they're not available, like, during exams and holidays. And I think Shrine Kid's pretty much always going to be available on Wednesdays, whereas there might be some Wednesdays where only... Or where Emperor Guy isn't available. See, one could see it that way. Wow. Incredible. Show for the first Welcome time in three back. months, this dude's... Oh, yeah, whatever. I mean, I guess it's actually pretty fair. There are over two weeks until the moon is full again, and already the number of lost is increasing in number. Guess what? I have to wear a maid outfit. Why me? This is not right. Um, sorry. 
I'm so embarrassed. I feel like running away. Fade outfits are cute. Maybe you should be wearing it instead. Boys like it better than you than me anyway. What's that supposed to mean? Don't smile at me like that. Try being in my shoes. This is awful. <laughs> the culture festival is next weekend, but there's a typhoon coming, so it might get canceled. Probably wouldn't have gone to it anyway. I really don't feel like being around a lot of people right now. You haven't had a social link event forever, Ken, by the way. Are you leveling up? Okay, you are leveling up, I think. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, you look sad. I'm sorry. I just had to check. There's a typhoon headed our way. Not sure if it's going to hit us or not, though. The typhoon threatens to cancel the Mangol Festival. Junpei Kun cares so much about Chidori san. It is a quiz game day. I mean, we're already like, what, rank 5 with Shinjiro? And we, we're gonna rank up next time, so you know what? Let's go back to our old stomping grounds. Let's quiz game it. Let's quiz game it! So we can unlock Mitsuru Social Link with our final quiz game. Come on, hear the special noise. Come on, yes! I was like, I was so ready to be mad. There we go, we can do Mitsuru now. Oh, you're a conversation. There's a nasty typhoon in the way. You think they'll still have that culture festival on Saturday? No, I don't think so. The way they're talking, the typhoon's gonna be way too destructive. That's not good. I hope Japan doesn't become an undersea country. Uh, okay. I don't care how strong a typhoon is, it's not putting the entire damn island underwater. Here from the grapevine, you went to. Yep. Thursday. Akihiko's a Friday banger, right? I, you know what we could do? Come on! <laughs> Alright, we'll save that for next video. We'll finally unlock Mitsuru Social Link. And that'll be... I guess every main character Social Link. And we'll have unlocked at least. Or I guess every available social link we could unlock would be unlocked. Well, except for uh, Tanaka's, who we still haven't unlocked. Because I don't think we're... I mean, we're missing social links, but... I think everyone we could have unlocked is unlocked except for Tanaka's right now. Or once we do... Uh, once we unlock Mitsuru's. Let's see. Zero, one, two... Mitsuru would be three, four, five, six, seven. I think Justice is eight. Hermit's nine. I think your strength's 12. No, because it'd be 11, because this is 12, 13. And then I don't remember past death what the numberings are, if we're missing any. Did it tell you? Okay, no, it does. So 14. We're missing 15. Okay, so we're, we're only missing like 15, it looks like. Okay, so we're just missing Mitsuru and whatever 15, and if there's one after Sun. Alright, alright, alright. Okie dokie, I'm ActionTreezy87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.